In our culture, there's a myth about wedding night sex. Every bride and groom will have the most amazing sex of their lives on their wedding nights. It's a silly notion, as that might not be the case for many of us. But there are things you and your partner can do to make the moment memorable. Take things slowly, savor this moment. You'll in all likelihood be a little too tired to have the most incredible sex of your lives. But simply appreciate being together. Your wedding night is likely to be among your most romantic and intimate sexual experiences. Lower your expectations. Between the pressure, the booze and the sheer exhaustion, this will not be a recipe for the best sex you've ever had and that's okay. Just try to enjoy whatever happens. Read some sex books. Who couldn't use a little advice from the experts? Some to try. The Good Vibrations Guide to Sex. Sex Tips for Straight Women from a Gay Man and Lesbian Sex Secrets for Men. Talk to each other. Before you get into it, spend some time relaxing by talking about the wedding and your love for each other. Let things get romantic and sappy. Or, if it turns you on, get a little dirty. The sex that follows will be intimate and amazing. Change your idea of the wedding night. If you're too tired for foreplay, then sex itself isn't going to be so great. Couldn't it be better to wait until the morning? You'll still be in your wedding night bed with the excitement and adrenaline of the day before. But you'll be more rested and ready to go. Flirt with each other during the wedding. It can be easy to spend the whole wedding greeting guests. Cutting the cake and tending to a thousand other details. But remember why you're there in the first place? Don't forget to stop. Stare into each other's eyes. Share a few extra kisses and flirt with each other. It will help build the excitement for your alone time later. Don't have sex for a couple of weeks before the wedding. Many couples try this to make the wedding night sex fresh and new again. Others go even further by giving up sex months before the wedding so that they may be virgin-like. On the wedding night, try something new. Perhaps there's been something you've been wanting to try. Your wedding night can be a fun night to experiment and be a little more adventurous. It's the start of a new chapter in your lives. So why shouldn't it also be the start of a new chapter in your sex life? Wear something special. Wedding night lingerie can really help set the mood. Pick something a little different than what you usually wear to excite your partner. Make sure you feel confident in it. As a confident lover is always a better lover. Don't forget that sexy underwear isn't just for ladies. Guys can also splurge on something that makes them feel powerful and alluring. Set the stages. Help yourselves get into the mood by setting the stage. Light some candles. Play romantic music. Scatter rose petals or do whatever else helps you get in the mood. Don't be afraid to kick out your friends and family right away. This is your wedding night. They might tease you for it. But they'll certainly understand. Even if you follow these tips, you may find that you are too exhausted or tipsy to have sex. Both of which are perfectly understandable. It's a long day. And if one of you falls asleep or isn't in the mood. Remember, it's not a prediction of a doomed marriage. Spend the time relaxing and reflecting on how wonderful your wedding day was. You'll have a lifetime together to recreate the moment.